Nuke 11.3 is the latest release in the 11 series and builds upon some of the fundamental tools and technologies artists have come to depend on while also providing more UI improvements as well as maintenance and performance improvements. Live Groups has been a great collaborative tool for allowing artists to easily group sections of a comp, either to share this data to a team of artists and quickly propagate changes, or as a way to have other artists collaborate on a single comp by allowing them to split up a complex script with ease and have any changes pushed directly back to the main comp. You can even modify knobs contained within a live group at the main comp level, allowing for greater collaboration and flexibility. With 11.3, we are making this workflow even more powerful with overrides and locking features, so that any modified knobs are now considered overrides and will persist when a live group script is versioned up. You can even apply your own overrides to the live group to modify the original values, or simply revert your overrides to put everything back to the default save state. The new locking feature also ensures that any work you collaborate on isn't accidentally overwritten or modified unintentionally and makes for easier sharing of data. Smart vectors have been a great new technology that have continued to be iterated on with each Nuke 11 release. With 11.3 we wanted to keep developing this toolset so that artists can keep using it to solve more and more problems. With that in mind, we have developed the vector corner pin node. With the Vector Corner Pin node, you can set keyframes just like with a traditional corner pin, but between the user set keyframes, the source image will be distorted according to the additional Smart Vector input. This allows users a high level of control to constrain elements in a specific location while still utilizing the power of Smart Vectors to drive the underlying distortion of an element. With each release of the 11 series, we have focused on improving the UI to help artists with their day-to-day -day workflows. With 11.3, we've introduced a new boundary box warning system that will highlight nodes that increase the size of the boundary box a certain percentage over the root format. Boundary box management has always been an important part of efficient script management, and this latest UI update really helps artists to see how they can better optimize their scripts. We've also introduced new selection modes, both in the 2D and 3D viewers. Now you have access to new marquee tools and a lasso tool to help make selecting shapes and points easier. There are also additional hotkeys that allow users to draw a rectangle or elliptical selection from the center and constrain it to a square or circle shape. For users managing channels inside of Nuke, we've implemented a new channel count indicator in the lower right status bar. And now, when reading in an EXR, a warning will appear if the channel limit of 1024 has been reached, which users can specify to a lower threshold limit in the preferences. In the 11 series, we've been working hard to find areas in which we can improve performance for our users. In 11.2, we focused on improving performance with deep data, and in 11.3, the particle system has been given a significant performance boost, and has now been optimized to produce up to six times faster particle simulations and four times faster playback of particles in the viewer. This performance increase really helps with the feedback loop of working with particles, enables you to better visualize, make updates, and interact with your particle systems without having to wait so long to see these changes. In order to help keep you working, we've also been working hard to support some of the latest, most in-demand cameras used in production. As such, in 11.3, we have upgraded the ARRI SDK to the latest version 6, as well as upgrading the Sony SDK to 3.1. This means support for those working with Sony Venice cameras and XOCN encoded footage. eGPU setups such as the Sonnet eGFX breakaway box and the Blackmagic eGPU have also been tested with Nuke 11.3, allowing for more flexible setups. We have also included some great Python workflow examples, such as dynamic timeline creation, to show how you can customize Nuke Studio and Hero to help keep extending the functionality to meet your needs. For users who want an easier way to set up, work with and review stereo or multi-camera setups typically found in feature film and VR, we have implemented timeline multi-view support for Hero, Hero Player and Nuke Studio. You can now utilize the same multi-file workflows that exist in Nuke on the timeline with support for the percentage V token on import, an automatic detect views option, new project settings and preferences, create comp and blend track support, and a split views to tracks feature that automatically copies and adds soft effects to the appropriate tracks. There's also support for full resolution stereo on monitor out to help make review sessions even easier and a new export preset to help with rendering.